We have some breaking junior vision news to give to you guys. We now have a city and we now have the date to lock in your diaries. Okay, so as you all know, uh, during the, um, I literally, this is literally hot off the press. Literally, I'm recording this literally as it's just been announced, okay? Because this is hot off the press. As you know, during the week of the adult contest, there is um, a press conference hall to update uh, us all on the upcoming GG Business Long Contest. And normally, in the fu in, at some point in one of the three live shows, you have a little uh, reference to GG Vision. We haven't seen the semi final, so I'm expecting it to be at some point in the grand final tomorrow. Um, okay? So. I'll just remind you, of course, we did do a video on this earlier in in the year. As we all, you all know by now, uh, last year's winners and last year's host country, France, uh, decided to decline hosting it for a, for a second consecutive year in a row. Um, I think that's obviously May, June, so but obviously in the summer they will be hosting the Olympic and Paralympic Games in Paris, which of course France Television will be the main broadcaster for France. So, obviously... A step too far. Um, so this is something to bear in mind if France wins in f again in five years' time. So if France wins in 2029, you know for certain they won't host in 2030 because they're going to be hosting the 20 because they will be hosting the 2030 Winter Olympic Games in the French Alps. So bear in mind if France wins in 2029, expect her to come second to host the first of the 2030s. Anyway. Let's get back to 2024. So, yeah, so France declined. And so Spain, as last year's rose up, they obviously picked up the mantle. And of course, we'll be going to Spain for the first time ever in the contest history. And 20 years after they got their only win at the Junior British Song Contest. Okay. So, we now have the date. And the host city for this year's Junior Vision Song Contest. So, on Friday, the 10th of May, the day before the grand final, well, we got the announcement that Madrid is the city that's been chosen to host the 22nd Junior Vision Song Contest at a press conference held in Malmö. RTPE released more details of the 22nd edition. In addition to the host city, we also now have the date of this year's contest, which was revealed um, to be Saturday. Saturday? Wow. The 16th of November. Wow. Okay. What? Wow, 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 wow. Hold on. Saturday. Oh, that's put a cat amongst the pigeons. Because normally, uh, the GE region is ho hosted on a Sunday. Um, is this the first time in eight years that it's not been holding us on a, on a Sunday? Hold on. Can you give me a second to go through the archives? I'll back you two seconds. Wow, okay, that's threw me off guard. Wow, 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 wow. Here we go. Okay. So. Because I remember 2015 was a Saturday. Give me two seconds. I'm just looking it up.
Yeah, because in 2016, they um, made um, changes in how the contest was broadcast. Because normally, before 2016, the contest was hosted on a Saturday evening. And then in 2016, they moved it to... Um, to a Sunday afternoon because obviously it's a kiddie show it's kiddies and uh, the stars so they thought right let's make it more you know, a, more a family friendly time you know um, which has been 4pm uh, CET 3pm in, in the UK um, yeah so also that is really interesting obviously we've not got the t I don't think we've got the t I don't think they said what the time of the concert will be but that could be interesting so yeah so it's going to be on a Saturday this year. Right, I'll mark that in your diaries. Saturday the 16th of November. Right, so obviously in February, of course, as I mentioned, RT accepted the offer from the European Broadcasting Union to host this year's contest. After France, who won last year's Junior Division in Nice, uh, passed on the opportunity. So, Junior Eurovision 2024 in Madrid is going to be obviously an even more special uh, year for Spain as they celebrated the 20th anniversary of their only win in the contest. So I'm going to read you what Mark Dostler had to say for himself. This is what he had to say on the uh, announcement. We're very excited to be heading to Madrid. 55 years after the Spanish capital hosted the last Eurovision event in Spain. Oh. <laughs> We're looking forward to seeing RTPE's exciting ideas to make this wonderful venue um, come alive and to welcoming young artists from across Europe to Canada Matica in November. Okay, so that's so there you go. So we've now got the host city and the date of this year's contest. I mean, it's very interesting. It's been scheduled for a Saturday. That is wow. That is, I'd love to know what the reasoning was behind that. That could definitely, at least for me, put the cat amongst the pigeons. I mean, because I think the. Uh, the broadcast time for the G-Vision has actually been fine. I think it's up, um, it's worked no problems. Um, you know, because obviously the G-Vision is where the kids are to be the stars. It's the, the kids are the artists, they're also the spokespersons as well. So it's very much the kids are front and centre. So you, you really, you don't want children to be having to be performing very late at night in the evening okay I mean you know I mean we've got rules in this country about how kids aren't supposed to be on telly after a certain o'clock clock because obviously on Britain's Got Talent when they had their um, sis ITV TV show Britain's Got More Talent if ever a kiddie had to qualify for the final you didn't have Stephen or her interview them because obviously it passed it would have been what about 10 o'clock at that point so yeah um yeah so i so i think the way that was the the the, the, uh, the broadcasting the time beforehand i had no problem with it because it's, it was suitable obviously for the fact that this is, is going to be a children this is a, a, it's a children's show and they are technically the stars um yeah so i think that's really really that's an interest so that's really took me um by surprise um yeah because i was not expecting it to be a saturday uh they haven't told us what the time is yet so it could very well still be four o'clock on a saturday afternoon um who who knows who knows is, is that coming in children in need are they set the date for children in need yet oh they have oh! 
It's the thing I've chosen in need. <gasps> Podsy, blush. Can you get the mics out? I'm having karaoke night. <clears throat> we'll have a karaoke fun. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. Children need getting earlier and earlier every year now. I swear to God, it's getting, it's getting earlier every year. It used to be... Okay. Right, right, right. Okay. Wow. Right, so mark that in your diary. Children in need. 5th, November 15th. Um, okay. 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 Right. The, the day after that, we're off to junior vision. Oh, does that mean I'm going to do my first round boating while Pudsy's on? <gasps> dear, 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 oh dear, oh dear, dear, oh dear. Um, not too much, not too much, it's not much an issue. Oh, oh, wow, okay, wow. In that case, if the UK is going to compete, now I haven't got confirmation whether or not the UK is competing yet or not, um, at the time of recording this, um, this show, on the 10th of May, I've got no idea yet. Obviously, I really hope we do, because we've done very, very well the last two years, haven't we? Have we done so well? One day we'll be the bride. That's it, that's it. All right, one day we will be the bride. Okay, we're doing so well. Fifth, 2022, fourth last year. To quote Queen Lorene, we're going up, 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 up. In the end. Okay, so I don't know yet if obviously the UK is going to compete. But if the UK will be competing in Madrid, that means we can't have the UK act uh, perform on children in need because the last two um year, um editions that we've been in, that we've been in our acts have done as part of part of the uh, promotional stuff has been on children the performance on children in need now obviously if, if, if the content is going to take place the day before, after children in need obviously we can't have that uh, which is a shame because it's a massive turf on, for a turf on in the uk everybody watches it and i mean Everybody watches Children in Need and everybody donates to Children in Need. Alright. Okay, so it's, it's a big night. Um, so it's the perfect opportunity for people who are familiar with the Junior Song Contest to find out about our apps because they're definitely tuning in for Children in Need. So, oh, that's going to be a shame. There's not many other, there's not many other promotions that they, they can do unless, unless they put them on Strictly. And by that I mean the main show, not Jeanette and Nick's Take Two. <laughs> uh, you get what I mean. Um, but yeah, so, hmm, that's interesting. Um, yeah. I think this is probably the earliest we've seen the cons as well, because normally it's the end of, if I've got to look back, normally it's end of November. Yeah, this is the earliest the year vision will be taking place since 2014. Uh, that, was the, that was the year before I started watching, because my first year vision was 2015 in Sofia. So this is the uh, so this is going to be the earliest that year vision has been held. Uh, but hey ho, we, we, we will roll it. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, yeah, as long as it's not uh, for me, as long as it's not in December, because year vision December doesn't work all right because we're all focusing on well everyone else is focused on christmas i'm not but <laughs> having a tube in december it's not a good idea it hasn't worked um yeah so hmm that's pretty so yeah so it's yeah so it's been interesting been interesting i mean um, yes, we now know that Madrid is going to host a team. I was really hoping it was going to be Benidorm. I wanted to be Benidorm. But hey ho, we're fine, we're fine with it. Um, you know, it could, it could be a great way to tie the national parts. So, so yeah, so Madrid it is. Madrid is going to be hosting the 22nd Jewish Song Contest on November the 16th. On a Saturday. That's good. 
that is going to take some getting used to. That is good. That is going to take some getting used to, especially if you are UK viewers and you've both been watching since the UK has re-entered the contest in 2022. You're going to feel a little bit disorientated. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So we now finally have the host city. We've been waiting for it because obviously the situation, obviously with France, means to pass the baton on. You know, we've been waiting for when they're going. You know, tell us where we're going. Well, we now have got that information. We now know that we are heading to Madrid in November, November the sixteenth for this year's uh, Junior Song Contest. Um, yeah, so it'd be interesting, interesting to see how Spain does. They haven't hosted a new British event since the infamous 1969 Year British Song Contest, which, of course, we all know ended in that infamous four way tie with Lulu. Don't worry, Spain, we've got tiebreaker rules now. Lots changed since the 1969 contest. We, we now have tie tiebreakers they now ex they now exist okay don't fear because i can see the panic probably setting in with spain going, oh no remember the last time we posted ah. <laughs> never never fear never fear okay it's all gonna be fine i'm sure you, you're gonna i'm sure you're gonna be amazing you're gonna do you're gonna do a very wonderful job hopefully and probably be very hot Probably gonna be a very hot at that time of year. So I pack so I will go with Madrid, pack your sunscreen. Make sure you get a lot of ice packs because it's gonna be whew, it's probably gonna be quite a scor scorcher. Um yeah, so yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Um yeah, really, really excited. I'm really excited to see how it goes. Because uh, obviously, I always look forward to G Division. I think I now look forward to G Division more than the main contest. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know, right? Hey, Bobby, I know. But yeah, just, it's because of there's so many rules that the G Division have that they've got right that I think I'd love that to be in the main contest, particularly the language rule. I want the language rule back. I mean, we've had a very good good one this year. I mean, we've had a lot of um, countries, um, you know, perform in their national language or have majority of the national language. But I'd love, um, no, but I, I would, but I would love the language rule in G Vision to be implemented for the adult contest. I would love that because I just think in G Vision, Vision, it's amazing because you get to see so many different languages you never would get to see in your mainstream um music uh charts so yeah but there you go so very happy for madrid okay it's the capital um so yes yeah, so, so yes we're going there to madrid um obviously commission raises all the other cities that did put bids in um uh, we did have quite the race um but it is official. It is Madrid. Who will be hosting it? So, yep. So get that put and locked in your diaries. All right. So November. So November sixteen. If anyone wants me, don't try because it's because it's locked in my diary. Okay. So there you go. So I'll keep on mind. So G Vision twenty twenty four, the twenty second contest in Madrid, November sixteenth, and that's a Saturday. Oh, that's gonna get. That's gonna get some. That, that's gonna be hard to get used to. But anyway, there we go. So we, yeah, there we go. So there we have it. So that is a quick, little, literally break, literally breaking news. Breaking news. It's literally I just dropped. Um, to get the thoughts about recording straight away. And all done. That's it. So there we go. So literally breaking news. Uh, thank you for the stage shows. Look, do some like one. It's not subscribed to the channel. Coming since for that. I ask you listen to my main content. So are oh, you a driver? You first, I'll take on my official Instagram for all time. Next Thursday, I'll see you.